All right, let's take a look at Publisher. One of the strengths of Publisher that you'll really want to take advantage of are the templates. For example, I've got award certificates, I have greeting cards. I even have paper folding projects. So one of the big pluses uh, that Publisher has over Word is is this. Although you can also download templates in from uh, Office Online for Word, but uh, Publisher already has it available, so it makes it a little quicker and easier. I'm going to take a look at the blank page sizes first to just show you Publisher. Now, like I said before, it's uh, it's similar to 2003 in that there's no ribbon, but we still have our insert, our format, our tools. Let's take a look at insert. From here you can insert a picture, clip art, word art, you can insert a text box which is uh, common in PowerPoint. You can format it such as the color schemes, the background, the tools. So let's go to background real quick. You can go ahead and choose any quick style. I'd like, probably not that one. Mm, probably not that one either. You know, anything that looks kind of nice. I'm gonna stick with this. So, I can choose go to insert and choose any of those, or can look to the left, and most of those features are right here. I have my text box right here, which is just a box I put text in. really small so if I highlight it I can change the font size up top something you might want to note is if your text box is too small you'll have this a with three dots and all that means is that some text is uh, can't fit in the box you'll just either have to increase the size of the box or you could shrink the font size I'm gonna justify it to the center I can change the font if I'd like you can also change the font color. I'm going to choose, actually, whoops, highlight that again. And choose, go ahead and choose purple. You can also fill this box, give it a color, like yellow, which looks really tacky, so I'm going to hit and undo that. <coughs> can add lines and borders, but uh, we're going to move on next to tables. You know, you can insert a Excel table or create a table. You can insert word art, which just like a graphic. I can insert picture, such as clip art, or I can copy and paste a picture from the internet. So let's say I shows up right here and then I've got my guy right here something you can do with all graphics and text boxes is that if you uh, notice when you <coughs> click on them you should have this green dot on top if you hold your mouse over it and drag it you can rotate the text it's like I'm doing right here with that you can rotate this guy now if I want to flip this guy over Simply shrink it, bring it around to the other side. Now he's turned around. I also have arrows, rectangles, I have auto shapes, which are like stars and hearts. For example, I'm going to add a star. And I can fill that a different color. Go ahead and fill that yellow and change the line color to yellow also so that uh, looks like that. could also add a call out. So there it is. One of the big things you'll want to, um, one of the uh, big things you'll need to, t to take advantage of is, let's say I want to fill this white ordering. So right now you can see my call out is on top of my word art, which is on top of my guy. 
if you use the right click, you can order these. I could bring this to the front or I could bring it forward. Might need to bring it forward again, so right click again. Order, bring forward, and there. And there you have it. That's uh, Those are all the basic features. I'm going to show you how to make some modifications to the templates now. So uh, check back on the other video.